Hi children, so this is the first class on the book Social and Political Life, 6th standard CBSC NCRT. Okay, so if you are studying in this class, this will be definitely useful for you. So have this book with you. If you don't have the book, the link uh, is given in the description. You can download the PDF of this chapter. Okay, so in the last class, we have discussed about uh, what is this book is all about? What are the chapters are available? So in this we will go into the detail of each chapter. So today I am starting with the first unit. Okay, unit 1 talks about diversity. So in this picture you can see okay, there are three uh, children are there. Okay, each children is different. Okay, one is in uh, without dress. One person is having a dress but another person is in um, differently abled. Okay, he is not able to walk. Okay, so this one example of diversity that means differences in appearance difference in their look okay likewise in the second photo you can see one mountain is there okay and uh, in the same place some plain area is also there so that is a variation mountain is a different variation another example I say in this photo in the third photo you can see three children are actually making fun of the one children so that is actually not correct it should not be done okay that is an example of discrimination making fun of them um, uh, no criticizing their uh, look their uh, speech their slang okay those things then in this photo you can see uh, it is a uh, it is known as China net it is uh, greatly available in across Kerala coast okay so this is one way of fishing by the fishermen of Kerala but if you go to other part of India you will find another way of fishing okay so in your notebook write down this word diversity D I V E R S I T Y diversity diversity okay what do you mean by the word diversity okay diversity means variations okay write down Diver diversities means variations like india is a very diverse country okay india is a very diverse country diverse country means lot of people are different different people are there okay uh, we, for simple example is uh, like um, yeah south indians are there they are a little dark in color uh, so north indians are there a little fair in color northeast like if you go to manipur assam okay another look by people will be there they will be having different uh, food habits south indians will have idli dosa north indians will have chapati so all these are known as diversity diversity means just write down variations variation differences in their look appearance then the food habit the clothing habit all this is so diversity is a chapter name this is a unit one okay then we have come to national anthem okay so national anthem you know janagana mana is our national anthem this national anthem was written by whom do you know who, who has written this uh, national anthem? It was written by Rabindranath Tagore. Rabindranath Tagore. Okay. So whenever national anthem is being sung, okay, in the morning every school we are singing this national anthem. We should be standing erect and we give respect to our national anthem. Okay. So that should be done. Okay. Now let us go into the chapter directly. Okay. So you should have this book. If you are not having this book, okay, ask your parents to buy this book or you can uh, also download as a PDF okay, in the uh, description which I have given. Okay, So let us start with chapter 1. Chapter 1, you uh, understanding diversity. Okay, So I told you diversity means various differences in the look and uh, people habits and all different different things are there. So how to understand this? What do you mean by understanding this? Okay, Let us look. Okay, Look around you in the classroom. Okay, if you are in the classroom, you can see around you or recollect your friend's face, your friend's name. Okay, uh, do you see anyone who looks exactly like you do? Can you see anybody is exactly like you? Okay, no, nobody is there, right? Okay, so that is the beginning of understanding variations. Nobody can be same as like you. Okay, everybody is unique. Everybody is different. In this chapter, you will learn that people are different from each other in many ways not only do they look different but they might also belong to different regional underline that regional okay underline that regional 
regional, cultural and religious. Okay. Regional, cultural. Cultural means, for example, South Indian, North Indian is a divine culture. Okay. Regional means uh, some people are in Tamil Nadu, some people are in Andhra Pradesh, some people are in Ma Ma Madhya Pradesh, um, Mizoram, Assam. So, different, different regions are there. So, regional difference will be there. Cultural difference will be there. Religious. Religious means some people will be Christian, some people will be Hindu, some people will be Muslim, some people will be Buddhist. Like this, different, different religions also there. These differences enrich our lives in many ways and also make them more fun. Okay. Yes, for example, if you are a Hindu, you do celebrate Christmas and you have cake. Okay. And uh, if you are an um, Islamic person and you are Muslim, you also do uh, celebrate Holi. So, there is a fun in celebrating all these festivals even though it belongs to different, different religion. Okay. Then comes all these differences. All these different people who came from all kinds of background or belonging to all kinds of religion and culture help to make India so interesting and so diverse. Okay, So being in India, it is more interesting and it is very diverse. Diverse means variations. What does diversity add to our lives? How did India become like this? All kind of differences are a part of diversity. Okay. So, in our um, India, okay, where we have a lot of different, different people, okay, uh, and thereby different, different languages are spoken, different, different customs are taken. Can diversity also be part of, of unity? Okay, even though we are divided by our culture, we are divided by our religion, we are divided by our custom, okay, food habits, are we united? Yes, of course, we are united under the common concept called India. Okay, so in this chapter, we'll get all the information. Now, look at this three images. Okay, all these are drawn like some, some, uh, somebody like you only. Okay, so you can see everybody has drawn, but this is a difference. Okay, so here one box is there. Okay, if you are having the book, try this. Here you try to draw one human being, one girl or one boy, something you draw. And you will see that that is also different from somebody. Just don't copy this three thing. You draw okay and then you see your friends how they have drawn they might have drawn differently that is the what is diversity means so differences between the people is known as diversity okay three children around your same age have drawn this picture okay that is what i told you now let us see Yeah, use the empty box to draw a human figure. Uh, is your drawing similar to any other others? Any your friend friend is also drawing a, a human being? Okay, or if your human being is also same, that is not possible. Okay, so that is the what you understand. What is known as diversity? The chances are that your drawing is quite different from the other three, uh, which you can see are quite different from each other. This is because each of us have unique drawing style. We uh, not only don't look exactly like each other but also differ in terms of language we speak our cultural backgrounds religious rituals and observe and of course the way we draw okay so not only i told you in the beginning you look around your um, friends okay anybody looking exactly like you not possible so not only in looks but the our way of thinking our language speaking and our cultural background are not only that our drawing habits also because our drawing style is your drawing style is different from other children so all are differences that is what is known as diversity okay now turn the page and screaming out of the evening headlines so okay that is not now ask your teacher to help you check how many of you have similar answer okay so after drawing this you have to find out answer now fill in this box also if you are having a book you can write down directly with the pencil only because when you go to school madam will again ask you to do fill out the following information about yourself okay so write down what you can do okay when i go out I like wearing. So when you are going outside your home, now we cannot go because now coronavirus is there, lockdown is there. But when this all over, when you go out, 
when you are going out what you are wearing okay what kind of dress you like to wear okay that you can write here at home i speak in okay you speak in which language you speak in english uh, tamil hindi telugu what language you are using in speaking in the home my favorite sports is okay what is your favorite game or sports you like cricket hockey football okay kabaddi uh, whatever you can write here i like reading books about okay what kind of books you like to read that also you can write <laughs> now ask your teacher to help you okay to help you to understand okay uh, to check it like what you have written okay do you think that you and your friends could have, unless you have copied if you don't copy then both will be having different different answer is there any who list matches you exactly probably not okay you might be different again okay. so maybe one language maybe some if you are in south india then many of you could attend malayalam or tamil other than that everything is different okay so that is what is meant by differences that is what is meant by diverse but many of you have similar answers how many like reading the same kind of books okay some like somebody saying i am like uh, cartoons i like uh, abdul kalam books i like uh, books written by mahatma gandhi something you write okay how many different languages spoken by the students in your class can you even have a counted like you speak one language your friends actual mother tongue is different so everybody okay different different languages also there but as of you sorry but now you by now you have recognized that there are many ways in which you are quite like some of your classmates and other ways in which you are different from them okay so you are actually similar to your classmates only but at the same time there are certain differences also there okay like the for example drawing wise you have seen your drawing is not same as your friends drawing second thing is what you like to wear okay when you go out that is not same what your language you are spoke speaking in your home that is not sometimes it may be same but it is different from others so a lot of differences are there that difference is what we are talking about is a diversity okay making friends do you think uh, it uh, would be easy for you to make friends with someone who was very different from you read the following story and think about it okay so do you think that somebody who is in different thinking different way of talking can you make become a friend of him let us see this story okay i had met i had meant it as a joke a joke made up of small ragged boys who sold newspaper at the janpat janpat is a place okay so there are certain newspaper boys are there crossing at the busy intersection every time i cycled past he would run after me holding out the english paper okay so a person is saying that whenever a person is going to a junction junction means you know where there is a uh, two three uh, roads are cutting across at that place this person is going and always newspaper boy is coming with the english newspaper and screaming out the the evening headlines in the mixture of hindi and english words okay so he is the the newspaper wala is selling the newspaper by saying it in hindi uh, newspaper le lo newspaper le lo okay and he is also head, giving the headlines in hindi as well as in english this time i stopped by the pavement and asked for hindi paper his mouth, uh, mouth fell open hindi so when you asked uh, so this person is asking a hindi newspaper one time okay you mean you know hindi he asked okay so the newspaper wala is asking aapko hindi aati hai means aap you can you speak hindi you know hindi yes of course i said as i paid for the paper okay so i gave a uh, new, this person is boy is giving a um, paisa money to him and getting the paper okay why what did you think he is asking why i cannot speak hindi i cannot know hindi he passed but Uh, you look so so angry's uh, he said okay what do you what do you uh, what uh, angry's means actually english person okay you look english person he said you mean you can even read hindi so looking that for example you might have sometimes seen somebody is like uh, looking like a, a foreigner looking like a, like british people british people i told you white people no 
so those people can read hindi is actually surprising okay so you cannot understand how they can speak in hindi okay so this newspaper wala is also surprised by seeing an angrez okay a white person asking for hindi newspaper of course i can uh, i said this time in little patiently i can speak so this person is saying that i can speak hindi so give me the hindi newspaper okay and i uh, and so how did this person know about hindi and all that and all you should no so you should also say for example you, your mother tongue may be uh, tamil or malayalam or um, something but you can still read hindi because you might have read in the school hindi is one of the subject i study in the school okay so this person is saying i know hindi because i am studying hindi in the uh, school subjects he asked okay what is a subject uh, how could i explain what a subject was to someone who had never been to the school okay so the newspaper wala have never gone to the school okay and the person who is buying the newspaper he is looking like a angrez looking like a foreigner but he is buying a hindi newspaper so this is what you should not judge a uh, book by its cover that means looking at somebody you cannot say that he cannot speak in english or he doesn't know hindi something you cannot say you should talk to them understand them how can i explain what a subject so well it is something i begin but the lights changed and the honking behind me uh, grew a hundredfold and let myself be pushed along with the rest of the traffic so he wanted to explain what is the subject by the time traffic signal so you know you my traffic signals are there right red color is there then uh, yellow color is there then green color is there red color is there you should not travel you should stop the cycle or the bus okay or the car or the bike whatever okay only in the green signal you should go okay now let us see what happens to the story the next day he was again there smiling at me and holding out a hindi paper bhaiya he said bhaiya is a hindi word which means brother hmm? aapka akbar okay he said uh, your newspaper ab bataiye ye subject kya cheez hai okay now he is saying that okay you uh, tell me what is a subject because yesterday what he said he said hindi was one of my subject so now he is asking what is his subject okay what do you mean by subject uh, the english word uh, sound strange on his tongue okay i sounded uh, like its other meaning in english to be ruled by uh, someone else okay oh it is just something to study he said okay subject means something to study like hindi subject is there uh, evs is there okay uh, history is there. like this is some subject he is saying Okay, you guys are studying along with me. Yes, and then because uh, the red light had come on, I asked him, "Have you ever been to school?" Okay, so the person who bought the newspaper yesterday, he is asking, "Have you ever been to the school?" Okay, have you gone to the school any time? Okay, never. He answered, and he added proudly, "I began working when I was so high." Okay, he measured himself against my cycle seat. Okay. first my mother used to come with me but i can do it all alone okay so he has never the newspaper wala has never gone to the school okay he has started selling the newspaper long before okay where is your mother now so mother was also coming to sell the newspaper now she is not coming i asked uh, but then the lights changed and i was off again green lights came he is left I heard him yell from somewhere behind me. She is in Meerut with the, the rest was drawn out. Okay. My name is Shamir. He said the next day, and we shyly asked, and very shyly asked, "What is your?" Okay. It was incredible. My bicycle wobbled. My name is Shabir too. Okay. So the, both persons are name is Shamir. Shamir means. the newspaper wala's name also shamir and the person who is buying the newspaper is also shamir okay my name is shamir too i said what his eyes light up yes i grinned at him it's another name for hanuman's father hanuman's father you know so now you are shamir ek and i am shamir do <laughs> okay understanding what is this thank okay. you so the person who is selling the newspaper his name is also samir and the person who bought the newspaper also samir so they are dividing themselves as samir ek that means samir 1 and samir 2 samir 2 he said thumb promptly okay 
something like that i answered and then i held out my hand hath milavo samir do okay so he is giving the handshake okay his hand nestled in mine uh, like a little bird i could still feel its warmth as i cycled away okay so that is again poetry that is his uh, ch- uh, hand was very small and uh, the person who bought the newspaper he is very uh, big person okay then we will see the next day he did not have his usual smile for me there is a trouble in meerat he said okay so the person said his mother is the um, newspaper wala what he said his mother is in meerat okay meerat is in uttar pradesh okay he said many people are being killed there in the riots okay underline this word riots means okay it is a disturbances people killing each other okay so for some reason they will do this that is a riots i looked at headlines communal riots okay underline the word communal riots okay this should not happen but unfortunately it is happening in india okay communal riots means the people in the name of religion okay or some other reason they will kill each other which is a very bad thing to happen okay it blazed but samir i began i am a muslim samir he said in answer and all my people are in meerat his eyes filled with tears and when i touched his shoulder he would not look up okay so in meerat what happened there is a communal riot is happening riots means killing of people okay for some recently something happened in delhi also you can ask your parents so that happened in the meerat so he is worried that his mother is there in the meerat and what will happen to her he was not at the crossing the day after neither the day after nor ever again and no newspaper in english or hindi can tell me where my shamir do has gone okay after that the newspaper wala is missing okay that newspaper samir is missing okay that's what now name three ways in which samir ek and samir do were different now t- now tell me okay both name are different both person name is different but now tell me what is the difference between the first samir and the second samir that means a person who is selling the newspaper and his difference and what is second difference with the um, uh, newspaper buying person both are same did their uh, differences prevent them becoming a friends okay there are lot of differences from them one person has gone to school one person has not gone to school one person is looking poor one other person is looking rich okay but still they came together and they become friends right so there is a variation between the people there are lot of differences between the people but they can be united for example your friend may be from uh, another uh, state she may be speaking another language but you can be friend with her that is what the story says so far while samir ek is more familiar with english samir do he speaks hindi okay that is the first difference one person can speak in english and the person knows only hindi although they both are more at home in different languages they still communicated with each other okay so they know different languages but still they are able to talk to each other okay they made effort to do some because of this was important for them okay so why did they communicate because a person wanted to speak to each other samir ek and samir do uh, uh, also came from different religion cultural background okay while samir ek was a uh, hindu samir do is a muslim different religion cultural background such as these are an aspect of diversity okay so one is an educated person one is a not educated person one is a muslim person one is a hindu person but still both became friend that means in write down or underline in diversity also we can be united and we can make friends okay and the remaining chapters i'll teach you in the next lesson okay so any doubts you can send me a message or you can call me or ask your parents to call me my name is yes vijay jagdish and my number is 999591683 thank you very much bye bye